All right, Emily, thank you. The Illinois governor's race was called shortly after the polls closed last night. Incumbent Democratic Governor J.B. Pritzker will serve another four years in office. Fox News' Laura Simon joining us with a closer look at those results. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Margie. Good morning, everybody. The Associated Press called the Illinois governor's race less than 10 minutes after the polls closed last night. Republican State Senator Darren Bailey was backed by former President Donald Trump, but all along the incumbent governor was projected to win this, according to a Nexstar Emerson College The Hill poll. So here's a look at what we're seeing this morning with 95% of precincts reporting Democratic Governor J.B. Pritzker has 54% of the vote. GOP candidate Darren Bailey trails behind with 43% of the vote. It was a tense and expensive race from the very beginning. Pritzker and Bailey took part in two debates ahead of this election, and they made some last-minute campaign stops on Monday to hopefully motivate their voters to head out to the polls. Pritzker had a sizable advantage in Chicago and its suburbs, and that's where Bailey made some appearances the day before the election to try to rally in some more support. The GOP state senator had more supporters in rural parts of the state. On Monday, Pritzker made stops in those parts of the state, including a visit to Caseyville, where Democratic support was lagging. He was back in Chicago for his watch party last night while Bailey held his watch party in Springfield, the state's capital. Illinois voters said ahead of this election, the issue most important to them was the economy, followed by threats to democracy and abortion access. Although election season is officially over, it won't be long before Governor Pritzker and his team get right back to work. The fall veto session starts next week, and there are expected to be some big debates around the state's controversial criminal justice reform law and safety act. Margie. Anti.